Love your hat. Thank you so much. <laughs> what was it like being in the film? Absolutely amazing. It, I'm a huge fan of the Purge franchise, so was really excited to hear that they were doing a fourth installment. And when I read the script, I was blown away. I mean, the, the just to know where it all started and to be able to take on the role as the activist and want to protect everyone, it was a huge responsibility, but I took it all with welcome arms. I'm so excited to be a part of it. How much preparation did you have to do for it? Well, um, not that much time to prepare, I'd say. I definitely had the duration of the audition process to prepare. Um, I be, uh, went in about four times wow. for this role before I before I earned You worked it. for it. Yeah, I definitely earned this role. So by the time I booked it, you know, I only had about a week. And then we were, we were straight into pre-production and just getting it ready. I definitely worked on my New York accent. Um, but, but outside of that, it was just... It, by the way, that was my first feature film I've ever... Studio feature I've ever filmed ever in my career. So um, I felt like a little bit of a rookie. So it was a cool learning experience just to be a part of it all. And I, I learned as we went, basically. Well, now you have that under your belt. So, you know, everybody beware. She's coming. Um, what do you think of the television series, like the idea of it? I'm really excited about the television series. I don't think I knew about the television series going into the fourth purge, um, but again, I'm a huge fan. I'm really excited to watch it, to tune in. Um, I understand that it takes place 10 years later after mine. I understand that some of the characters lost family members during my purge night, so I'm really on the edge about what's happening and where people are and what they go through and also have an opportunity to get to know these characters outside of the violence. I believe stretch over the 10 episode period I'll be able to see them outside of just the purge and what they were like with their family and what do they do for a living. We never know what these people do for a living, right? Very so, true. Yeah, so I'm excited to get to know these characters. All right, well thank you so much for talking thank with you. us. Have a great day. Good leader Tavis. Good leader Tavis. What does that mean exactly? Uh, good leader Tavis is a benevolent, passionate leader who guides teenagers to their death on Purge Night. Okay, that just got dark really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you got involved with the show, did you feel any pressure because of the movies being so successful? Yeah. And I'm also a fan of the franchise. I've seen all the movies. Um, I think the idea of The Purge is really big. Uh, and I, I think it succeeds in being kind of social commentary, but also uh, just really fun and scary. It doesn't shove it down your throat. It's not didactic. Um, and the TV series is really, it's, is, is very much that. It's not, um, it's not directly trying to convince you of anything. So over the, the 10 episodes, how will we see your character evolve in the way? Um, or does she evolve? She evolves a little bit. She evolves a little bit. Um, you, will, you, will, you, will see me, you will see me do things that you may think are terrible, but, but I want you to know that I have the best intentions always. Yeah. Yeah, they all say that. You know. <laughs> all right, last quick question. Please. In real life, would you be a perjurer? I'd go to a party. <laughs> so you play Miguel? Yes. Tell us a little bit about him. So uh, Miguel is a U.S. Marine, and uh, he's, uh, he's a bit of a, bit, a bit of a guy who's on, he's got a hard edge to him, um, but he's on a noble mission. And uh, he gets this cryptic letter from his sister, and that's what brings him back just before the beginning of this purge night. And uh, he's about to face all the senseless violence throughout the night to find and, and protect what he cares about most, and that's it. that is his family and that is his sister. So, uh, yeah, we pick up Miguel at the beginning of the show right into the madness. Okay. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. right. <laughs> so how much training did you have to do since you're going to be playing a Marine? Uh, not, not too much. I mean, definitely, uh, you know, I had to get in shape. I knew I, knew the, uh, <laughs> I had to get my cardio up, um, so I knew, I knew the extent of... Uh, the stuff that he was going to be doing in this in this in the show, um, yeah, there's just a lot of fun, crazy stunts involved in the show, and I get to I get to do a lot of that stuff. So, uh, um, yeah, definitely just just get your cardio up. I had to get my cardio up, and I couldn't. I, stopped, I had to stop eating pizza. I love pizza, Aww. so yeah, 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 I had to get you know I had to get on the diet. So, <laughs> lots of salad. Yeah, right, lots of salad. Um, you know, no carbs, but <laughs> and uh, so yeah, you know, that's pretty much it for the most part. All right, so what do you think fans are going to be most excited to see? Uh, I think, I mean, I think the fans are going to probably be most excited to see is uh, 
I mean, the show, the, the idea of The Purge, I think is very fitting for a television show because you get to really dive into the 12 hours of what happens on a night like this in 10 episodes. So, you know, it, it kind of feels like, honestly, as we're filming in, in the production, it, it feels like, it feels like, like, like 10 mini movies, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so so it's, you know, we're putting a lot of money into it. The budget's, are, you know, it, you, we're, we're shooting a really cool television show. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, I think I think we should all be excited for it, most definitely. What do you What have you heard from fans of the movie as of this point? How are, do the, Do you get a lot of feedback? Are they excited that the TV show's coming? Yeah, no, they're definitely excited. You know, it's interesting, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the last Purge movie, the fourth one, which is which is the very first Purge. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly the first Purge. Um, there's a nice little uh, teaser at the end. I don't know if you... Yes. Know no, it's in the credits. Yeah, it's in the credits. That's right. It's in the credits, <laughs> and it's in reference to our television show that's coming out uh, this fall. Well, we're excited for that, certainly. So, last quick question. In real life, would you be a purger? No. I could not. I could not purge. I, I'm like Miguel. I'm totally like Miguel. Okay. I'm totally against it. And uh, but you know, again, it, it's a fun. It's a fun show. It's a fun idea. And uh, I think the, the the our creators, James DeMonico and Tom Kelly, our, our showrunner, writer, and, and and Anthony Hemingway, they've done a great job of you know creating these characters, developing these characters, and uh, you keep it fun. You know, it's it's a fun show. And I think uh, again, everyone should be excited for it because it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Great, we can't wait to see it. Thanks for talking with us. Hi, I'm Allison with Flick Direct. Nice to meet you. Hey, Allison, nice hat. Thank you so no, much. No, no, <laughs> if I'd known, I would have saved you on. <laughs> okay, so what is the pressure to take this movie franchise that's been so successful and make it into a television show? No pressure. It's none. <laughs> I don't think so. There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, just yeah. a little bit. I mean, listen, I, I feel like it, it's a great opportunity. So I think the movies are, are, are fun and great. And, and, you know, being able to tell a story over 10 hours instead of 90 minutes, I mean, it just gives us a lot more real estate. And hopefully we'll take advantage of that in a way that's both entertaining and, and educational. So what can we expect from the first episode that coming up? A lot of setup. <laughs> A lot of introduction to new characters. No, you know, I think seriously, um, just the, the ability to, I think, find the identity of, of, of our narrative, really, that's reflective and respective, respectful, what's the word? I can't talk yeah. today. Of the franchise and the brand, but um, be able to, like Tom said, get into even more of our current affairs and current events and just to tap into the social commentary of today. Um, and that's been a beautiful thing of just seeing our characters fight for family, seeing characters deal with just the, you know, the issues within the workplace and hitting glass ceilings, um, you know, even asking your question of what is really the American dream and what does that mean today? Um, so that's the fun stuff that, you know, I think we're looking to, you know, somewhat explore within this. And you, you mentioned the social commentary, which is so prevalent in this series and certainly going to be, it sounds like, in the television show. So is there a fine line there that you have to maybe not cross at this point because of our the political climate here in this country right now? Sure. I mean, I think it's ambiguous, absolutely. And we're not trying to, you know, go tell a, a certain point of view, you know. It's just really being able to reflect our reality right now and I think just allow this experience to entertain you but also allow you to kind of see ourselves, be relatable um, and, and I think force everyone to really challenge and, and, and question your own moral compass at the same time your own isms um, and that's, you know, I think with anything it's just finding those opportunities for it to, to have an impact um, and be meaningful, um, but I think entertaining at first. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out over the, the 10 episodes. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right, last question. In real life, would you be a purger? <laughs> I would engineer a really elaborate heist to make a lot of money. <laughs> I don't think I try to do that without yeah. hurting anyone. Though. Yeah. I like the way you purge. think. Yeah, I'm a Netflix and chill myself. You know, I just learned what that means. Can I come over? Yeah, uh, yes. I'm Bring hunkering down. Yeah. I'm hunkering down with you guys. All right. Thanks so much for talking with us. Good luck with the show. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.
So talk to me about The Purge. The Purge, well, we have 10 hours of very compelling television where uh, you will take the journey of Purge Night with us 10 years after its inception, after the experiment, which we've seen in the latest feature, Love the Hat, the Thank first you. Purge. So, and you don't necessarily have to be familiar with the feature side of the franchise to um, be able to enjoy or be in, or um, keep um, uh, stay along with the with the television side of the franchise. So it's just really compelling hours of television with flashbacks and major character development because of the 10 hours that we've been uh, gifted. Is there a lot of pressure, added pressure, because it was such a successful movie franchise? I don't think so because it's there on the page. Tom Kelly and his writer's room uh, laid out a pretty solid foundation, very strong platform for us to jump off of. And um, no, I think it's just a meditation on the human condition, a lot like the other series I was so blessed and grateful to be a part of The Leftovers. So it's just um, different timbre, um, some might argue the same tone in its, in its horror as far as premise, um, but definitely a meditation on the human condition, which I'm always gaming down for. Yeah, it is definitely a psychological study, so to speak. Absolutely, and it makes you think, and we don't force feed any ideas or situations going on either in our social world or in the actual global community uh, in which we all live uh, at all. So tell me a little bit more about your character. What can we expect from her? Well, Jane's a very young, driven, determined, passionate, uh, self-made woman, which I think is really important to know if you want to know anything going into The Purge and knowing about Jane. And, you know, she's, she's very uniquely gifted. So you're surprised that she's really not partner at 32, which is where we see her. And, um, and she finds a way to remedy that situation, and that is to hire Purge Assassin. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. Really exciting. And the great thing about Jane playing her uh, moment to moment, really, because that's how you have to take the character, because she is very layered. And like I said, Tom and James have done really beautiful work in character development um, in the writer's room. Uh, she's self-made, and she's got a very strong moral compass. And she is kind incarnate and I think that that runs that you're just into you walk into a lot of conflict with a woman like that on purge night so one last question yes. in real life would you be a purger no no I'd, I'd be a, a hunker Hider. down and, and bunker with some snacks and a couple honor palmers and <laughs> ginger ale and some streaming video on demand not, not much I'm 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 not down for that I hear you. I'm all about the love <laughs> well thanks for your time we look oh, forward to the show you.